Hey folks, this is Brian from Snake, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Sneak Gradle plugin within your Gradle project. Check it out. I will start with a Gradle project I just created in IntelliJ based on Java 11. I will insert two compile dependencies. First, I'm going to import Guave, and second, I'm going to import ZTZip, a zip library. For a fact, I know that this version 1.12 contains a vulnerability. I will use the Sneak Gradle plugin to scan my dependencies for vulnerabilities. The Sneak plugin is published in the Gradle plugins portal, so within the plugin DSL I just have to declare it. The current version is 0.4. Next I will set a few properties for the plugin. First I will set the severity. This is the threshold. In this case I want to break my build whenever there is a vulnerability, either low, medium or high. If I do not fill in the severity or omit the severity completely, the sneak plugin will just show you the vulnerabilities but will not break your build. The next property you need is the API key. You can find the API key in the settings part of your sneak account. If you don't have a sneak account, go to sneak.io and sign up for a free account. The sneak plugin uses the sneak CLI to find and detect vulnerabilities. If you do not have the CLI installed on your machine, you can choose to auto download the binary from the internet. Default value for this property is true. You can also choose if you want the sneak CLI to be updated automatically by setting the property auto update to true. All right, now let's run at sneak plugin. Just use the task sneak dash test. You see that it downloads the latest version of the CLI and it starts scanning your application to see if your dependencies contain known vulnerabilities. This time the build failed. That's because sneak found a security vulnerability. There is an arbitrary file write security vulnerability found in the zip library I just imported. The output shows me that if I replace 112 for the newer 113 version, the problem will be fixed. So let's fix this problem as suggested and run the test again. We can also connect the sneak test task to the normal test task, so it will automatically scan when I test or build my project in the future. In the same way, you can use the sneak-monitor task. This task takes a snapshot of the current situation and monitors it on the sneak platform. This is great for when a release hits production. Now you know how to use the sneak Gradle plugin. Try it out yourself.